Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today, coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video, doing Steven Jackson of the formerly known St. Louis Rams, now the modern day LA Rams. And before I get too quick in on into this creation tutorial, I just want to thank everybody for the support in terms of subscriptions and views on these videos. It's been pretty cool just to see everybody reaching out to their favorite player and also uh, the thanks in, in the comment section for me making a fair player. I apologize if your guy that you suggest that hasn't yet to come out I am trying to stick to a schedule and sometimes it's tough and I, I'm just trying to stay on top of things as best I can but sometimes again it really is tough but getting back on into the creation and discussion of Steven Jackson in Madden for whatever reason you guys kind of know if you watch me for a while I have an affinity for power running backs both in real life and in the Madden universe I don't know if it's just the physicality of the sport but for whatever reason I really enjoy watching some of these power running backs like a Steven Jackson play both in real life and in Madden. I, I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy paying attention to watching some of these guys. So I know a lot of these players. And Steven Jackson was a guy I never really got into regardless of how great of a player he was. Early on in the 2000s, you know, Sean Alexander was a lot of my guy because, you know, Seattle. And talking about Seattle, the NFC West has had a couple of pretty quality running backs go through their division. I don't know if Steven Jackson is going to be a Hall of Fame guy, but San Francisco, Frank Gore, very much in the Hall of Fame discussion post-retirement. I mean, he's played, you know, already three, four years at Indianapolis after his long tenured time in San Francisco. And then Seattle, Sean Alexander had 100 rushing touchdowns in his career. Pretty nice little time set in Seattle. Uh, broke a record for a season. And then Marshawn Lynch, my personal favorite player of all time, you know, who knows if he'll go to the Hall of Fame just to clip 10,000 yards in Oakland. But, you know, they've had some nice, nice string of running backs. Arizona's kind of the only team that I feel like is left out of the mix in that category. Had to kind of shuffle things around. Late 2000s, I remember they drafted Beanie Wells out of Ohio State. A lot of big um, time, you know, thoughts were made of him in terms of his future production, what he could, could be. And it never really panned out, unfortunately, for Arizona. They also stuck with uh, Tim Hightower a little bit. Had Edron James, I believe, at the tail end of that 2009 or 2008. Excuse me. I, I don't even. I think I don't even remember what year it was. I think it was 2008 against the Steelers in the Super Bowl. So I think Edron James was part of that team as well. And then they they added Tim Hightower later on. Uh, and now now they got David Johnson. So uh, not not too bad in terms of running backs. Of course, every division is probably gonna have pretty running backs over time. But I feel like the NFC West has done pretty well with their guys. You know, Stephen Jackson. I believe Sean Alexander and Frank Gore both have all eclipse or have all eclipse over 10,000 yards. I don't know about Sean Alexander. I know for certain that Gore and Stephen Jackson have. And, and talking back about Jackson, had 11,000 career rushing yards, 69 rushing touchdowns, had a thousand seasons, um, eight years in a row, which is kind of unheard of. You talk about the Rams and what they were about in that mid 2000s era. They were not winning a lot of games post greatest show on turf Rams with Kurt Warner, Isaac Bruce, Marshall Falk, etc, etc. You know, they just weren't what they were. Kurt Warner eventually ended up moving on to the Giants. Marshall Falk ended up leaving, you know, eventually he had to stop playing. <laughs> so, you know, Steven Jackson was kind of left high and dry in St. Louis and had to make do with what he had and did really produce really well. Averaged almost four yards a carry all of those seasons that I talked about of him getting at least a thousand yards. Three-time Pro Bowl player, pretty incredible stuff I'm sure for Rams fans and Ram loyal fans that was a real rough period for you guys you know I feel like Seattle was, was pretty good early on in the mid 2000s you know they started getting things going with Sean Alexander Hasselbeck Niners had a little bit of a, a, a run a little bit uh, but I'm sure it was rough for Rams fans at that point uh, only two playoff games Stephen Jackson ever played in with the Rams and he was not the number one man that was back in 2004 so you know it, it, it's tough for Stephen Jackson but I really never got into him, but in terms of watching him a lot, but everybody knows how good of a player that he was with the Rams and how productive he was. And sometimes, I guess that can be overlooked when discussing some great power running backs, especially if you don't win a lot of games. And I think that's sort of the case with Steven Jackson. I almost forgot about this guy. And he actually wasn't even a player that I knew a lot of people suggested in the comment section, but I really, again, love creating running backs, and I had to do Steven Jackson because I knew at some point he was going to get brought up and so here we are today. So getting on into the ratings with Steven Jackson. Again, I probably would recommend utilizing Ultimate Team stats tools for players like this from previous Ultimate Team games. 
it's pretty easy to just make the player and I feel like you know I'm not really creative with the numbers sometimes I do just create them off the fly in this case I based them a lot off of the numbers I saw on his card and ultimate team from I believe Madden 16 and again completely subjective do what you want but the obvious areas of strength for Steven Jackson are going to be trucking stiff arm a strength he wasn't the same guy as a lot of these vertical six foot two I was going to say vertically like challenge or something but these really tall running backs don't have quite the same fluidity in their cuts so they run you know very up and down north and south which is a good thing as a running back but it's just a different type of back people kind of try to combine a Marshawn Lynch for example into that category that is not the case if you watch Marshawn Lynch play in his career he was very lateral side to side a lot of quick side to side cuts and movements he was not a north and south runner so you just have to be aware of kind of what you're talking about when you're you're watching running backs and trying to discuss them with somebody because there are different running backs and, and you have to pay attention to that and Steven Jackson was, is an example one of the one of those guys who was very good north and south but wasn't a great cutter side to side and that is actually going to be the conclusion of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed you know make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden player creation tutorial videos and Madden 18 content like I believe I've mentioned in previous videos just started up a CFM series, online CFM series with the Seahawks. Would like to get a couple more going, but honestly, there's probably not enough leagues out there that I would like to join. But hopefully next year, more of that will come. But once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate the support. And yep, thanks for watching.